Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Just got a question in here on Facebook Mobile, which uh, I'm finding puzzling because I went to find it on the laptop and I can't find it on Messenger. So I guess that's something that comes in on the phone, but you don't get to see in Messenger. In any case, luckily I saved it when it came in. Um, this is from Roshan. He says, hi, I see your reviews on YouTube all the time. I had a quick question about buying a product, the Nikon D610 body only refurbished from BH Photo. My question is about buying a new body versus the refurbished. Would you help me with a suggestion? And then he had a follow-up question he sent in. says, hello, Matt. How bad is a shutter count of 12,000 on a refurbished Nikon D610? So um, thanks for your question, Roshan. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I love the D610. I've got a little soft spot for it in my heart. It's one of my favorite cameras. Um, even now, I still think it's one of the best values in a full-frame camera. Uh, I am looking forward to the refresh when we get, I don't know what they're going to call it, 620, 650, who knows, um, with video, 4K video. But um, great value in a fantastic full-frame camera from Nikon. Very, very top-performing um, IQ from that sensor, 24 megapixel sensor. So a great, great um, option. Refurbs, I don't have a problem with. If given the option, I prefer a factory refurb. And by that, I mean a brand new camera that came off the line a little bit out of spec. So they have to send it back to a technician to dial it in, to correct whatever, whatever problem or spec it was out on. Uh, and then you've basically had a hand um, checked tested perfected camera so in that sense a factory refurb to me is a great deal because somebody it could be dialed in to an even tighter spec than a camera that just comes off the line and meets the acceptable spec um, so those are great and i've bought computers that way i've bought camera equipment that way all sorts of electronics and i've never had an issue um, now refurbished the kind that you're talking about here it could be that it came in uh, had some warranty work done. They sent out a different body, and then they corrected whatever was the problem, something like that. Um, typically, when you see a shutter count of something like 12,000, you think it's been it's been used a little. So it's not what I would assume to be a factory refurb because it's got some some mileage on it, if you will. Um, first of all, 12,000 is nothing on pretty much any camera, let alone on a D610, which is a very strong offering. So that wouldn't bother me in the least. Um, the fact that it's not a factory refurb, I would be weighing the price. So you didn't, I don't think you mentioned here what we're talking about as far as price. Uh, no, you didn't mention the price. As long as you're getting a good savings on it, then no, I wouldn't have a problem at all with it being a factory refurb. B&H is a good company. They stand behind their products. If you buy it and have an issue, you could return it. So great store to be buying it from. And if you're going to buy a refurb, you should be getting it either from the manufacturer like Nikon or from a store like b &H that is standing behind their product. Amazon would too, in the sense that you could return it. You've got that window of return if there's a problem. So I don't have any problem with that. I would just caution price. What is the price of uh, a new one and what type of savings are we talking about here? As long as you're saving, you know, a couple hundred dollars or something, I think it's a great deal. Um, if you're getting less than that, then you need to weigh you know, how much are you willing to, you know, how much money is it worth to give up a brand new camera versus one that isn't new? Um, typically, you do have some pretty decent savings on a, on a refurb versus what you'd be able to buy um, a brand new one for, even on sale. Uh, and the other option is, too, is if you find one, you can find them with low shutter counts, even lower than that used if somebody's really not using it and they're selling it. Um, and the 610's been around for a while, so you may be able to get a better deal on a used camera with an even lower shutter count, which may be an option to consider as well. But yeah, to answer your question specifically, I do not have a problem with a refurb uh, body D610 from B&H, and 12,000 shutter count is not an issue at all on a 610 or pretty much any camera out there. So I'll throw that back to my viewers, to, to you guys. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. How comfortable are you in buying a refurb? Do you only buy factory refurbs? Are you fine with buying a refurb like this one seems where it's been used a bit and it's been factory refurb, or it's been refurbed by the manufacturer? I guess it's technically still a factory refurb. I always think of a factory refurb as a camera, like I said, comes off the line and has to get dialed in. But I mean, if it's being refurbed by the manufacturer, I guess it's a factory refurb. But I, I, I differentiate those two type of refurbished products in my mind. But how comfortable are you folks with factory refurbs? What's your experiences with factory refurbs? Mine's been very favorable. Let's hear what you guys have to say. Let's help out um, our viewer here and um, 
just kind of flush out the experiences, have some more feedback. It's always great to hear from you guys when, when our viewers are asking questions. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.